So here, uh, whatever the speakers told, we are going to give a live demo of the test kit. So basically, these are all things we need for the testing of the device. So this is just for sample collection. We can take the nasopharyngeal swab or the throat swab. We can test and. This is for Corona, so we have to inactivate the virus after taking the sample. So for that we have to use this buffer so that the virus gets inactivated over here and the RNA is extracted. So then we have to taste the sample, just we take a little bit of sample and put it on top of the device. So this is our sensor device. There are different designs of sensor, so based on that the multiple diseases can be checked. For example, Corona we used three or four type of markers so for that four sensors are here you can see one two three four like that we have different uh, designs mm -hmm. and this can be used for different diseases mm -hmm. maybe for cancer we can use different marker panel so based on that we can use the number of devices whatever the needed be so here the same for the sensor uh, testing we need a android app application and that application can be uh, installed in the mobile and these are the patient registration step so that for each patient one unique id get created and with that id we can paste the device so already we have uh, made we have already we have uh, enrolled the unique id for this device and that with that unique id we will show the test results so here the registration process we can go for the registration and then it will show it will ask for the, the app will ask for the personal information like dob and all other things we can enter and unique id get created and then we can go for the preload of the sample this is needed for the testing setup and then we can go for the test of the sample so here chip number is identified with this number that number i am going to put so this number can we can give any number to the chip and unique id is generated for the patient then we will paste and here we can go for the next so after putting the droplets we have to wait for a certain time and after that we can go for the testing so once you press the test it should show the result